Hello everyone, my name is Raghavendra Prasad and welcome to my channel. In this video lecture, we will discuss about axial and radial flow turbines. An axial flow turbine is a turbine in which the direction of flow of fluid is axial or parallel to the axis of the shaft. It is a turbine that uses the energy of the propellant flowing parallel to the turbine axis. The most commonly used axial flow turbine is Kaplan turbine. Kaplan turbine is also called as propeller turbine due to its blade design which resembles the propeller of a ship. The fluid enters the spiral casing and changes the direction to radially inward inside the volute casing. But when it enters the turbine blade, the fluid absolute velocity will be axial and also at the outlet, the fluid leaves axially. Bulb turbine is another example for axial flow turbine with propeller blade design is used for extremely low heads mostly in tidal power harnessing plants. Bulb turbine is also called as tubular turbine as it is placed inside a circular tube type structure. These are generalized velocity triangle which we have drawn for impulse steam turbine. In these velocity triangles, the absolute velocity at the entrance and exit splits into tangential and axial velocity components. Tangential velocity component moves the blade whereas axial velocity component won't do any works other than applying axial force on the turbine blade. In case of axial blade design, the fluid enters axially and leaves axially and hence the tangential velocity component VW is absent at both inlet and exit. Fluid hits the blade and its direction changes over the blade. The velocity with respect to blade is called as relative velocity and it must be at an optimum angle of attack in all directions or all cross sections. Angle of attack is the angle between the reference line of a blade and flow direction. Direction of relative velocity will be inclined unlike the absolute velocity of flow depending on the blade velocity and the geometry of the blade. Relative velocity inclination that is beta 1 increases as fluid move from blade root to the tip with respect to axis of the shaft. These blades are adjustable. When the flow rate is high, the blade pitched vertically or parallel to the axis and the relative velocity of the flow is more axial. When the flow rate is low, the blade pitch tangentially and hence the relative velocity of the flow is more tangential. But in all the cases of flow variation and blade pitching, the optimum angle of attack will remain the same. In axial flow turbines, tangential component of velocity is absent as there is no chance of branching of velocity in the flow direction. Hence, at inlet absolute velocity V1 will be equal to flow velocity Vf1 in axial direction and at the outlet velocity V2 will be equal to flow velocity Vf2. Inlet and outlet angles alpha1 and alpha2 will be 90 degree. This 90 degree angle is not with respect to axis of the shaft. It is with respect to base of the triangle used only for the construction of velocity triangles. This velocity triangle is suitable for both bulb and Kaplan turbine as they are fully axial type turbines. However, certain modification can be done in the velocity triangles with the variation of design of plates. At the outlet, again the velocity will be axial and relative velocity with respect to blade is beta 2. As the whirl velocity is absent at the both inlet and exit, only blade speed u1 and u2 can be shown between the absolute velocity and relative velocity. The velocity triangles can be redrawn as standing on their base as shown in the figure. A radial flow turbine is a turbine in which the direction of flow of water jet is radial to the axis of the shaft. It uses energy of a propellant flowing radial to the turbine axis and hence the blade design would be different as compared to axial flow turbines. In radial turbines, we can't find any radial blades. Radial is the direction of flow of fluid, not the blade. Radial blades are used in blowers or fans, but not in turbines other than in water wheels in which flow would be tangential to the blades. 
The most commonly used radial flow turbine for high power generation is Francis turbine. But it is not a fully radial type turbine. It is actually a mixed flow turbine as the fluid enters radially and leaves axially. Turbocharger is an example for fully radial flow turbine with more complex and robust design, more suitable for low power ranges as compared to axial flow turbines. Velocity tangle for a fully radial flow turbine is as shown in the figure, in which absolute velocity splits into radial and tangential components, whereas the axial component is absent at the inlet and outlet. This velocity tangle looks similar to impulse steam turbine velocity tangle. But here instead of axial, a radial component of velocity is present which is responsible for the blade rotation about the shaft axis.